Okay. I sit back. That's what I tell you guys. Take your picture and sit back and look at it after you've painted it. And just by looking at it when you walk by, then you can see some things maybe that you don't like or you want to change or whatever. The uh, I didn't like the rim on my hat. It was too wide. And when I went back and looked, I thought it was too wide here at the at the front too so I went back now you can see here where I went over and and made that in you know less wide and more pointed to where it would be you know closer to the original shape so then I, I've got to go back and put some background in here to cover this up but that's not any problem and uh, then I, I darkened under here because you have shade of the light, you know, the, the brim of the hat sticks out, and when that sticks out, that gives you shade underneath it. So you got to put a shadow there on your boots to make, you know, to show that difference. And I have just a small little line there of the reflection of the light back up into it so that you can see, although when you look at it, there's not a whole lot. Well, this one, I don't have my light turned on. There's not a whole lot of difference here between the hat and the shadow of the boots. It's real dark all the way back down. But because of the light bouncing back up, see, there's a lot of light here, and that light will bounce back up. And sometimes it leaves just a little tiny hint of a reflection on the bottom of that brim. So let me get a little bit closer to it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Right in here, there's a little bit of a lighted reflection from the light bouncing back, especially right here. It's hitting it some. But anyways... Um, that will give you a defined difference between your hat and your boots. And it will also give you more of a 3D effect because you're putting that shadow in right under the hat that shows you that this brim is sticking out further than the boots are. So you can see that makes a big difference adding that, uh, that shadow right under the brim of the hat. All right, well, I am mixing some shades here on my palette. This is my palette. And I'm mixing some background colors again. And I'm going to use a medium called liquid to mix up in with it to make it where it's not as thick. I mean, this is a pretty thick oil paints are pretty thick and when you add a medium to it see you see how it comes out of the uh, container it's it's a pretty thick paint and when you add your medium into it you can make it thinner or you can use this uh, a lot of people and you have to clean your brushes with this too is a terpenoid I always get odorless um, because that turpentine is, oh, it has such an odor to it. Um, and then I have a little container here that's made especially to clean your brushes. Um, you know, if you're going to do oil painting, that's very helpful to have. It has a little strainer-like thing in the bottom of it, so it keeps your brushes from sitting down in the bottom of it, but it, um, you know, it gives you room in there to swish your brushes around and uh, clean them off good. Okay, well, I'm going to start back to working on my highlights and my shadows and, um, fix up my background a little bit more and set these boots down on the canvas better so I will record some more later.